Hello everyone! My name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another wonderful video of Disgaea 7, with now C4 the Angel! Which really is still just her, just now she doesn't have the pointed ears on her model, and she has her white wings. So, in the last video, we have been betrayed. Nitra, the angel, betrayed Celestia and her friend just so she could become an infernal treasure just like Suisen. She wants to become a living infernal treasure weapon. I feel like that is a horrible mistake she's making, but I'm not going to let her live long enough to live that dream now because I am very much angry with her. She sucked as a caster, she sucked with damage, and now she sucks as a person. I'll show you the way, dude. So it is time to get into Angel's Betrayal and make a nice fresh plate of angel wings. Oh, I remember now. That's right. We were in Sardine World together. That's C again, the Ocean Magistrate. I don't approve of the heavy taxes he imposes. But that demonic gun is impressive. The people have been rebelling lately. They've even begun to arm themselves and have resorted to threatening us. Yes, us lower ranked officials would appreciate if we could use some infernal treasures as well, sir. I'll try negotiating with the higher ups. But with how many subordinates I've got, I'd need around 500 demon souls. Yee! Yeah. Wait, 500 demon souls? Did you hear that, Nitra? Yes, loud and clear. So that means the Shogunate is using demon souls to manufacture infernal treasures? So that's why I sent so many souls whenever I saw one. I never would have guessed. They were being stolen from the soul path and used as material for infernal treasures. We have to do something about this. Wait, see? Nitra? What is it? Hey, see? Do you really think life as a weapon is that bad? I think it's pretty amazing, actually. That is a weird question. I mean, don't you think it would be nice to live on forever and ever as a weapon? N Nitra? What's gotten into you? I love weapons just as much as you, but something like that isn't normal. And creepy. Oh? What a shame we're not on the same page. <laughs> Nitra. Why? She just... Wait, that was a gunshot. She has a bow. Why did we hear a gun? Is there like a special celestial tool that's like a memory wiping gun? made me fall into the ocean when i came to my memories were gone so it must have been a memory wiping gun then because that was a gunshot sound that was in a bow she uses a bow <sighs> it would have been better if they stayed gone it saddens me to have to deliver another blow to my darling c <laughs> like you're gonna succeed in doing that but i won't be so nice this time i'll do everything i can to wipe you out shiro fune's Attack at once! Don't underestimate us, young lady. Definitely don't, because those Shirafunes of yours are crappy. They do little damage to, like, barely being a scratch on us. Literally, even in the last fights, their damage was crap. Gonzess Shosai would be caught off guard by a surprise attack? Don't make me laugh! I predicted your betrayal, Nitra. As such, I made sure Higan was ready for battle. You you defended against all those simultaneous Shiro Fune attacks? Looks like I'll have to resort to Kuro Fune. Another Kuro Fune? I made this especially for you, see? The Sardine World citizens helped too. It's filled to the brim with their souls. 
Oh. Sardine world? You don't mean... A special living infernal treasure made with the souls of your saviors. Do you dare attack it? Oh, you bitch. Wait, where is it? Is it in that group? No. Where's the... Oh, you're down there. I hate them already. And of course, they're gonna... Yep, they have that Amplified Souls thing. Okay, so... We're gonna need to take care of these ones up top first. They're not gonna hurt that much, though, because literally the last ones didn't hurt us really at all. So, we'll just do that. We'll just take care of the ones up top. Sure about this? Okay, here they come. Targeted. This is going to be a lot of casting again. Okay. Attacking. Come on. Attacking. Just sustain. Targeted. Attacking. Okay. We sustain it. Go unmarked. You know what? I say it's time for Jumbo Suisse. Control Alt deleted, bitch. I'll do it. Damage. <laughs> Damage threshold surpassed. Reached. <laughs> Very nice. And I know I didn't get to use those new attacks, but. <laughs> Just as strong as rumors suggest. But that's nothing that Kudo Fune can't handle. You say that, yet we just decimated it. But yeah, like, I know I didn't get to use those new attacks yet, but we will get to see it soon. I'm assuring that will happen. Ah, I just thought of something. As a little bonus, I'll tell you the Kudo Fune's weakness. Okay. Wait, for real? But tell us, come on! Yeah, wait, why would you go out of your way to help the enemy? She may have strayed from the light, but once an angel, always an angel. I'm sure she's being kind. <sighs> Give me a break, Priscilla. <laughs> its weakness is the core in its chest. Attacking it will easily incapacitate it. Uh huh. Really? This isn't a trap, is it? She appears to be telling the truth. See? If I poke Suisen's core, he starts trembling like a little puppy. Stop doing that then! Don't be mean! Help me. Hey, quit messing with my brother! Master, don't touch his core. I know how infernal treasures are made, so I know exactly what she's up to. Oh, so you're aware that the souls inside a core can't be restored once they're destroyed? I figured that's what she was getting at. I was thinking that in my head, but I wanted to wait and see what they say. What? S -s Sorry, Suisen. I'll rub some spit on it for you, just in case. Huh? I'll bandage you up all nice and good, okay? I've got you, little buddy. Um, th that won't be necessary. Please keep your distance. If you want to defeat Kudo Fune, you'll have to destroy the core, which will kill the citizens of Sardine World. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be easy for you, see? You're just like me, after all. You're selfish and don't care about others. That's awful. How could you be capable of doing such a horrible thing? Why have you changed so much? The Nitra I know. The nature that I remember. She's the nicest person around. See, 
You... You could never understand. How is she to understand when a certain friend of hers wiped her memory and, as well, betray and backstab her? Battle against the Silk... Oh, okay, so it's the... Big fight. Whoa, wait, only 18 minutes? Has it literally been only 18 minutes? This is still the one recording, right? I didn't accidentally hit the button. Yeah, no, this is the same recording. Okay, well, I'll get everyone healed up and I guess lambs. geared up. This and is the hospital. We got time for another fight. May God watch over you. So I'll see you guys when I get everything set up. All right, here we go. Got all geared up. Every more people got weapons. It doesn't matter whether you're an angel or a demon. Everyone dies. We'll grow old and rot away one day. But if we become infernal treasures, we can preserve what makes us unique forever. It's an ideal way of life. Don't you agree? If angels could become infernal treasures, I'd be the first in line. You do realize doing that could end up also horribly endangering Celestia, as much as it's already horribly endangering the netherworld. I can't bear to get old and die one day. I want to continue to be me forever. Ugh, unique? Please. I think you're just afraid of change. You don't have the courage to be who you are or accept that life isn't static. That's so fake. How can you call that ideal? AC4, what do you think of Nitra's little lecture? Let me know how you really feel. Nitra's right. There are lots of great things in this world that never lose their luster. You do understand me. So join me in my journey, you see? We can remain who we are forever. But being ourselves doesn't mean we always have to stay the same. See? Look at me! Because of everything I've encountered and all the fun I've had, I've grown so much! Each day is better than the last. It's like fireworks lighting up the night. I become a new and improved me every single day! I'm going to embrace living life with a bang! Because that's what makes me, me! Fire! That's the C4 that we admire. What? See, the C I know would never say something like that. Well, that C has changed, and it's all because of you. You'd never disagree with me. You're not C at all. No, she's better, and it's actually thanks to you. Very much thanks to you. So thank you. Now it's time to kick your ass. What backfired on who? I'll mobilize the rest of the Shiro Funes and pummel every single one of you into oblivion. What what back What backfired on what? Hell mode of C4 has been powered up. C4 learned the ability distance shot. I'm guessing that means the farther C4 damages people, the more damage it does. I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, here I go. Let's take a look. Distance shot. Increase critical damage by 10% per panel away from enemies. Ew. Oh, I know how to use that. Well, so we send. We got a little bit of a fun plan here. And they got another Kudo Fune up ahead of us. Okay. And they got attack and defense buffers. Here we go! Grand Theft! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy taking every single thing from all of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a blast. Okay. 
pilot. Attacking. Go ahead. Attacking. Keep attacking. That is not gonna Targeted. stop my grand Assaulting. thievery. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Pilot. More magic attacks. Assaulting. You're missing more than you're hitting. Yeah. Damaged. You just got hit with an arrow. Oh, Placid, what should you swipe? There is much for you to swipe. Oh, there is much for you to swipe indeed. We're gonna have Placid just spam that ability. Neither of them have lost their weapons, but I am slowly taking that of all the other enemies. Like, for instance, this arch over here, <laughs> she doesn't have a weapon anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take all of your goodies. Not only are these bots dead, Damage behold Cronin's new attack. Past. Elemental yeah, Burst. I want uh. Oh, yes. Reached. Yep, there we go. More weapons and armor taken. Who lost their stuff? Try to s Oh! They already lost two of their... Oh, wow. They lost actually quite a bit. And this one has no armor. What about you? Did you lose anything? Nope. The boss hasn't lost anything yet, but that's okay. We'll get there. I think it's time for Suisen to have Hell Mode active, because I want to finally see what this axe ability is, which is called Jade Boat. Become an infernal treasure. I want to see how this works. Let's see if we can actually uh, add to the death pile, shall we say. Here it comes! Cause okay, yeah, so she'll still have her hell mode ready. Uh Placid, why don't you uh in a way of speaking, throw us a bone. Uh Oh, that's awkward. Uh just just move him over there then. And then we can just have C4 Loading Do the same. Okay, let's take a look at this, because I never got to see this. I want to see what Jade Boat is and does. But you know what? There. Uh, this one, Kurofune is being a dick. It's... Oh, oh that's too much. I want to just soften him up a bit. Just a bit. Okay, that's not enough. Do I have enough magic to... Yes, I do. Yeah, put you in front. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll get to wipe them out. Let's see what this does. We're finally going to see Jade Boat. And we get to see King of Fire. Target marked. Here we go. Deploy all armaments. Output at 120%. Damage. <laughs> For our future. Damage threshold surpassed. Reached. I liked that, actually. I really wish I got to use that when he was first buffed. Cause holy crap, that was cool looking. Okay, she's moving on us. Okay. Concentrate. Soul Dozer. Be of use. I smell burst souls. She just one shot so yet. many people. Twice not yet. Holy crap, okay. You're too noisy, meow. 
Yeah, so we lost Yayasu and quite a few others. Okay. I was hoping to use C4 to finish you off. So, uh... You pissed me off. Again. Morgan gets to finish her off. After we kill- oh, also horribly wound this guy. Because now he has no armor. Heading out! Super crispy! Not yet. Not toy! Fair! Fool! It's like going to Celeste and me out! Time to die! Out of ammo and out of life. I was really hoping that I could uh, do what I was doing before, but that's eh, fine. Uh, having souls being held hostage is a real pain in the butt. I'm hungry. Can we go to a tea house or something? Of course, she thinks about food. Can you hold out for a little longer, Master Moron? You sure you want to call her Master Moron in front of her? Leave it to me. The demonic gun. The soul inside it is telling me to cause a bigger explosion. Really? Come on, demonic gun. I'm counting on you, Hichu Ryoma. Fire! Okay. Incredible. The light that C4 is radiating is blasting everyone in the vicinity away. It's the same as when my demonic staff and Suisun's demonic axe awaken. That means... The bond between C4 and the demonic gun has gotten even stronger! C4! Show him your worst! I was hoping to do that in the battle, but... Eh, it's fine. I see the souls inside Kurofune clear as day. I can fight without harming them. Just you wait, Nitra. I'll make you shine with all my might. Just like how you changed me once. Pichu Ryoma decided now was the time to unlock its true potential? Oh, I hate to admit it. But what a glorious sight. That's that. Nitra, you're next. I would have aimed that at Nitra to begin with if I was you. I can't believe you managed to incapacitate all of them without hurting a single soul. I must report back to Cannon Line. Don't let her! Justice has arrived! Don't escape us now! Go keep her magistrate, Nitra! I see the idiot Mecha Angel duo finally decided to show up. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Communication, contact, and consultation are angel fundamentals. Meow. Sorry for getting here so late. You guys are always late. And you're always judgmental. Nitra. In the name of justice, we've reported your evil deeds to the Archangel. We've been ordered to bring you back to Celestia for punishment. Come with us, Meow. I humbly decline. Besides, what can Celestia do now? It's a little bit late, isn't it? No matter what anyone may say, I'll follow my dream of becoming an infernal treasure. You can't change my mind. Farewell. See? Wait! Nitra! Will we never be friends again? C4, keep your chin up. You still want to believe in Nitra, don't you? I don't. Huh? Uh, well, um... You don't have to hide it. It's okay to trust that she must have her reasons and keep believing in her. Again, Perilica, you with this whole they must have their reasons thing. Those who believe will be enslaved. No, wait. Those who believe will be shaved. I think you mean, those who 
Those who believe will be saved. Yes, that! Just because you've been betrayed once, or because you're enemies, doesn't mean everything is a lie. I'm sure she has some kind of reason. If you continue believing in her, I know the day will come when you see eye to eye. Why are you so worked up about it? Um, I'm not. Not in the slightest. I feel like she's worked up about it because that's what she wants to believe in for her mother. Because I'm starting to think now she might know that Canon Line is her mother. <laughs> Thanks, Perilica. I'll keep believing in her until I understand how she really feels. I think we were owed that apology much earlier than when the fight came after yours, don't you think? My bad, Meow. Please forgive me. Witty, please. Oh, don't do that whole adding the W over the R crap and the L. Locations of the lost souls because the angel Nitra betrayed Celestia and became a pawn of the Shogunate. You're apologizing on her behalf? Does that mean I should get down on my hands and knees too? No, there's no time for that. Our investigations revealed that the souls of the dead are being held in Slaporo. Slaporo? Why is it called Slaporo? Do everyone slap each other there? Leporo? It's super cold there. Oh, apparently it's a cold place. That's the location of the Demodor stronghold, Grim Jufu. But why would they bring the souls there? For no doubt an ultimate weapon or ultimate final boss transformation purpose. We don't know, Meow. We've got eyewitness reports that Demodor Opener and the Demonic Fist are there, though, Meow. Demodor? Yes, he's normally protected by the Infernal Sanctuary. But, if the reports are true, you won't need the founding weapons to approach. Ugh, I'd love to take him on right away, too. But Celestia has to be neutral. Whether Nitra is involved or not, we cannot recklessly interfere with the Netherworld. Ugh, I'm so irritated! Leave Opener to us. Would you do us a favor and keep Kurofune and the Shirofune safe in Celestia? I want to find a way to save the souls trapped in them, no matter what it takes. Please protect them until I can. A security detail! <laughs> I see! Roger that! I swear on my life and honor of justice! I'll protect those souls with all I have! Which is not much. Being they mostly stand there and defend without even attacking back most of the time. Okay, we'll go back to Celestia and ask the higher-ups about helping you out. Don't get your hopes up too high, Meow. Now, we must leave you with our catchphrase. All together now! Mm. Justice Meow! So... It's finally time for Opener and the Missing Souls to show up, huh? Things are starting to get interesting. Everything will be right again, if we can just put an end to Opener. Alright, time to head over to Slap Poro! Uh, oh. um, father. Mother. It's okay to keep believing, right? A revelation of a sad reality, yet I must face it. Okay. So, your friend betrayed you, huh? Yeah, that's gotta hurt. I've only got 20 hours left for manga submissions to the biggest event in the Netherworlds, Demicon. What? And... That image I'm seeing, it looks like two... 
demons dressed up as a bomb and TNT in love? Is this some weird netherworld bomber man manga drama love romance thing? Oh wait, that's your sad reality? <laughs> a hundred pages to go for my draft copy. It's the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. It's game over. Give up already. C4 is backed into a corner, but in her darkest hour, the most sinister helper of all appears. Christine Hegan. Okay, that the look of Hegan right there is okay. It's the drawing I'm looking at. Because that just reminds me of Kilia's horrible drawing from the Sky of Five. Higan and Kilia would get along with their art. <laughs> My manga belongs to me, and your manga also belongs to me. I'll help you meet the deadline. And so began the duo's do or die battle. Attack the printing company! Take that! I, I think that's a little bit unfair if you ask me. If you don't extend the deadline, I'll blow you all up. Just draw your damn manga. Next time on Baku Bomb, final episode, the absolute challenger. I can't ever finish my beloved manga. So then what's the point of making a manga then if you're not even going to be able to finish it? If the deadline's too tight, just pay more to get it printed super duper fast! Horilica, that's still a burden for the printing company. Oh lord. Okay, well... That's gonna have to be it for this episode, because I'm actually all out of time for this episode. Now that it is over, so... I guess in the next episode, we're gonna be We're gonna be... I almost said glowing. <laughs> We're going to be going to Slap Horas and... Well, not Slap Horas. Slap Hora. And we're going to be advancing ourselves to Demodor's Stronghold. So we m we're getting pretty close, by the looks of it, to the ending of this game. Probably. But, like in Disgaea 6... I'm not going to put my full hopes up into that until I see an ending. Because I don't want to deal with constantly thinking it's going to be the ending, and then it keeps extending again and again and again. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and to help support it. As always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. All of you please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone.